It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Hey guys, I'm Josh, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing my new 34 inch ultra wide monitor from LG over here. I'm not really sure how this video is going to be playing out just yet. I will have timestamps if you want to skip through uh, just down here. This is just the unboxing like initial setup really. Uh, if you guys want a full review, which I do want to make here probably after like a week or two of using it, um, leave some comments down below. So let's just hit the subscribe button. And then what I will do is I'll go over the specs and everything as I'm unboxing it in a little voiceover. Just because this monitor is so big that I feel like I can't really talk and do all of that at the same time. And just a really quick overview of the box that it comes in. It just says LG Ultrawide, as well as a couple of these specs. There's an IPS HDR 1344 by 1440p uh, resolution, as well as USB-C, which is the main selling point of this monitor. So guys, a couple specs of this 34 inch curved monitor include it being a 60 hertz IPS panel with a 3440 by 1440p resolution screen. It's got that 21 by 9 aspect ratio for an ultra wide of course, and it has about 110 pixels per inch so that your text is still going to look pretty clear. The panel is IPS, so it has an sRGB color gamut of 99% color, color accuracy, as well as an anti-glare screen, which is always nice. It has a five millisecond response time, as well as a peak brightness of 300 nit. And the screen curvature is an 1800R, which makes it all not that curved, but enough to get you so where you're sitting in the middle like perfectly right in your field of vision pretty much everything. Overall this monitor uses about 60 watts of power consumption but if you are charging your laptop with the USB-C port then it goes all the way up to 140 watts. It is face and mount compatible. The stand that it comes with does have tilt and height adjustment but you cannot spin it over. It is also HDR10 and if you guys have any more questions about specs just leave a comment and I'll answer them as we go. So included in the box is the monitor stand. I really like this one actually just because it's so low profile, it gives you a lot of desk room. Um, and as you can tell, it's very thin, so you can put down a monitor or you slide your keyboard underneath to save desk space. And here's the monitor arm itself. The base kind of just screws in onto the bottom. And as you can tell, it is face and mount compatible. I believe it's 100 by 100. Also included in the box is just some software as well as your instructions, warranty information, and all of that fun stuff. As well as your DC power adapter, as well as your power brick. They include an HDMI cord as well as the USB-C cord. Mm -hmm. got a nice clicky button to where you can do a lot of different things that you might need to. So it's like including turning on the monitor. And the ports it includes is the USB-C, two USB 3.0s, a, a display port, two HDMIs, an audio out, and then DC power in. And then to attach a stand, all you do is kind of just click it into place and it's all set. Alright guys, so I just set it up and I plugged in the power. Right now I just have the USB-C cable plugged in as well. 
I'm just gonna do a little quick turn on. So turn on this monitor, the button's just right in the middle. And perfect, there we go. Just have my MacBook over here and I'm gonna plug this in and just see a little test going here. I'm almost struggling to fit all of this in frame. So massive. Just a quick test real quick. I'm gonna plug in the USB cord. And on here, it just said, do you wanna to connect to USB-C? So we'll click yes. Perfect. 3440 by 1440 uh, for the resolution. And then also I just have it at 60 hertz because this is a 60 hertz monitor. And I'm just mirroring this display right now. I'm still kind of new to this whole thing, so I'm not too sure what exactly to do. But screen resolution so far is looking quite nice. Um, if I pull, and as you can see, we have a lot of real estate. We just make this a little bit bigger. And I don't know if you'd really want to do this, but actually, even for a massive screen like this, it seems to be looking okay. I can't really see the pixels. And I am just in 1080. And as you can tell, nothing is really like blown out of proportion or anything. I think that's good so far. Just a quick side note, so I'm plugged in with USB-C right here, just one cable. So we're able to do this as well as I wanted to show that it's charging as well. So plugged in, I believe we're getting 60 watts on here. So it's at 94%. So that's about it for the unboxing video. But I will do a full review and have a desk set up as well. Um, this isn't going to be staying here, it's actually going to be going into my new College apartment so make sure you hit the subscribe to stay tuned for that I'll be doing like a whole desk setup slash room sort of makeover kind of deal so if you want to see that featuring this monitor for coding video editing all of that stuff so yeah and let me know if you guys want to see anything else about this monitor as well in the comments down below uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later